Hey YouTube, what's happening? Today I bring to you my opinion about duplex outlets. At least that's what, you know, I've found they're called around here anyway. But these are used exclusively as far as I know in manufactured mobile homes. And for the most part they do a good job, you know, for 15, 20 years. Um, but like everything else, they need to be replaced. And in my opinion, when it's time to replace these, I wouldn't go back with duplex outlets. Um, here's why. Because they're more expensive. Um, you can buy nice quality outlets that are standard, you know, like these. Yeah, it's a standard outlet, you know, and they're cheap enough. And if you're going to do this or have somebody do this, I also recommend don't putting them through the holes. Even though it's perfectly fine and acceptable, it's to code and everything, take a little extra time and curl your wire. Put it around the stud. It gives it a lot better contact than just that little bite in there because all it is... Just like in this one, I'll show you. All right. See that little copper fin right there? That's all that bites that wire. And, you know, this circuit right here is rated for 15 amps. But you figure you got 15 amps going through that little blade connection. And I would say. 98%, 99% of the times I've found in mobile homes that the neutral side, it'll just get a little teeny bit of corrosion in there and it'll cause a bad connection. You'll still get power, but it's a bad connection. It starts heating this wire, uh, especially in the wintertime when people like to plug in their little you know, space heaters and whatnot. It really taxes this connection. And... You know, I, I can't say that I've ever seen this same problem with these kind of outlets because if you wrap your wire around and you torque it down good, you know, the whole wire might be corroded around it, but as soon as you take this connection off, you'll see a round, clean patch of copper because this thing will bite down and when it's bit down it seals out the oxygen from that small part of the copper wire and you don't get corrosion there you know so I mean you still get corrosion no matter what you do but I've had to replace more of these um, because they failed on the neutral side you know and it and you know and the funny thing is is it'll be an outlet that you never even use. You know, it'll be like there's an outlet behind the stove. And everybody most of the time now has electric stoves, but there's an outlet behind the stove. And, you know, it uh, is there in case you have a gas stove that you need to plug in. But, you know, just because you don't use the outlet doesn't mean there's not current flowing through here. This one, you know, is in series. You know, the power comes in through the blades and then goes back out onto the next outlet down the line. So you can have nothing plugged in. You know, say this circuit right here goes all the way around through the bathroom. It ends up over there by that window is the last plug on the line. Okay, well, you could have nothing else plugged in on this circuit and have a 1,500-watt space heater plugged in down there. And you're still, it would be the same thing as if you had it plugged in here. It's still drawing the full force through here because it has to transfer from this wire down on the bottom through these blade con terminals, blade connectors, and into this wire to continue on down the line. So it's, it's still taxing, you know. And it's the same thing. That's the way the electricity works, but... You know, you got a nice solid copper bus here. You know, so 
like I said, they, they, they work good. They, for 15, 20 years, you don't, maybe 25, you don't get no problems out of them. But you're going to have to replace it eventually. And the other part of the problem is, is the tool that you're supposed to use to, to put these and install these wires in here. I tried, I was going to get one because I figured, well, you know, the trailer already has duplex outlets in there. I'll just replace with duplex outlets and man, this freaking tool is, I think it was like $225 for the installation tool. And then, like I said, the outlets weren't cheap. I want to say they were like five or six bucks for the outlet itself, you know? And I mean, you figure, you know, get a, a, uh, 10 pack of these for, I think, five bucks. Or you can get the more expensive brand, but still, you know, you get more outlets and then you got to put in a box. Now, this is a this is a new work box, you know, because I got the wall open. I'm replacing this floor is rotted. This, whoever built this trailer, I tell you, the person that owned this home paid a contractor my favorite people, to install vinyl siding on the house, okay? And they did. And the whole house is like this. They did not make the vinyl siding tuck under the roof properly. And for years, every time it rains, it comes right in here, right down the wall. I have not removed the exterior wall. It has rotted away in this house. There's still some left over there. But the whole house is like this. I'm rebuilding this house. It's going to take me quite a while. Um, anyways, it's going off subject. So, um, but that's what I would do because they make, you see how it's got these wings here? So you can still replace these. And um, I'll show you the box you'll have to use. It's not very hard. Well, Really, you shouldn't be replacing it yourself, but oh, here we go. I got one. So I'm going to do this outlet. You know, see this outlet's already in the wall. Okay. Now, this box is called an old work box. And it's got these tabs. So you got to do is take this, unscrew it out of here. The hole's going to be a little bit smaller. So you'll have to take them. What I do is I just trace the box on the wall like this. I put it over the hole. Trace it here, not up here on these fingers, down here. Go around, cut your hole out, run your wires into the box, and you slide it in the hole, and when you tighten it up, these wings go up, and boom, they're all tight. There you go. So, it's a lot cheaper, I think. Um, I haven't called any electricians to get a quote on, you know, putting all new outlets and switches in a house, but just from the cost of the tool and the cost of the outlets, um, I would have to say if you got a quote to replace with factory, I would say it has to be more expensive than replacing with regular components that have been around for 100 years because if my price for a box of outlets at a big box store is five dollars a box six dollars a box you know a contractor who buys in bulk from a supplier gets it for about half that price so now that's just my food for thought i wanted to share with you duplex outlets and uh, why i feel when they're done they're done you know replace with you know common household electrical and not try to go back with duplex and also, if you have an electrical problem in your mobile home, you know, say that, let's just say that, you know, you, this wire, I believe, runs, powers that side of the living room, and it comes in here, you got power at this outlet, but then your bathroom's dead, your hall closet light's dead, and, you know, this outlet don't work. You know, chances are there's a break in the neutral, and 
it'll be right there because that's where the power stops. Um, also, and this is, you wouldn't think about this either. And maybe some electricians don't even know it. It's possible. They got some good tools. But um, on mobile homes, you'll have a circuit like this. And it'll actually dip through the floor. And there'll be an outlet underneath the mobile home. What it's there for is when the installers, you know, come and set the house up and everything. They're outside outlets. So if you want to plug something in outside, but... So far, every mobile home I've ever worked on, it's like they don't even know they're there. And they never get installed. They just, they're tucked up under there. They got some slack in the wall, wires because they're made to be dropped down and affixed outside with the proper waterproof terminals and whatnot. And they just never get used. So the circuit will die because of that problem, corrosion on the terminal. You know, and you come in here and you'd be like, well, it works up to here, but I can't get it to go no further. And I check this box and everything's fine. I can't figure it out. Well, check outside your house underneath. You have to pull the skirting away. Check underneath. There's more than likely going to be an outlet underneath the trailer right there. You know, and if you don't use it already... Just take and wire nut the wires together, the blacks to the blacks, the whites to the whites, the grounds to the grounds. Or, if you want to use it, put a new outlet in it, drop it down, and hook it up the right way. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I guess I'm done rambling for today. But I uh, figured I'd show you about duplex out.